In this tutorial, we'll look at display none not working. Okay, so I have a simple example here with two boxes here, box one and box two. So the box one has a background color of orange, the other one has a background color of green yellow. So let's say we want to hide the box one with display none and it's not working. So if I refresh here, for me it's working, but maybe in your case, uh, nothing is happening. The first thing you want to try is using the important rule because maybe you're using a third-party library like Bootstrap or Tailwind or some other library, maybe even Font Awesome icons. Um, they may have set a display value like block or inline block. And so that will override your display value. So with important, we're, we're basically forcing the browser to take this value. And um, that probably solves most of your issues. Now let's say that doesn't work. There's another reason that display none is not working for you. So what could also happen is that your element is sitting in another element, right? maybe some container element. Right? So let's say box one is sitting in container here, and maybe the container has, let's say, a height of 200 pixels. Right, so now I have display none for this box, but it's still there. It seems like it's still taking up space. It's not because this box is taking up space, it's because its parent element still has a height of 200 pixels. Right, so then this box, this box two, cannot move upwards because it's this container that still takes up that space. Right, so you also have to use it on the container in that case. And then that space becomes available for the other elements. Another problem could be that instead of a height, perhaps it's taking, it's using padding, right? Maybe there's some padding on the bottom of, let's say, 100 pixels for this container, right? So then that will actually also take up space or even margin, let's say, right? Margin as well, right? So uh, make sure you check out the HTML structure and how those parent elements are uh, using margin or padding or uh, height or width. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.